in this episode. <laughs> We're gonna review the burger board. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, let's fire up the burger board. So, here's what you're gonna get. It is not that fancy. It's an Intel Celeron 3200 running at 2.4 gigahertz. It's about a 10 year old CPU. It's got 512 megabytes of RAM. Not very impressive. That's all it's got, guys. It is, for all intents and purposes, a PC that has a JAMA interface that hijacks PC inputs. Those inputs are gonna be your character movements, your action buttons, A, B, C, D, E, F, and that's kind of it. And it's a locked down Windows 2000 operating environment that you cannot get to. So after it boots up, we'll show you some gameplay and I'll kind of go through basic 101 of the menu system. All right, the burger board has booted up and I know how excited you guys are. So when you first get into this menu, you're gonna have uh, on the top left, you have the category of the game and on the right hand side here, uh, you have sort of a snapshot of that game. Now when it first boots up and you're in this menu, you cannot move around until you put in a coin. So that's gonna be your coin button on your JAMA uh, or select on your controller. Now I have this running through a super gun because I wasn't gonna put it in an arcade cabinet to do the review. So it does complicate things a bit, but I will show you what that looks like. So once you're all booted up and you put in the coin, you can either go up and down and look through the games uh, like that, or you can change the category of the game by pressing the A button. So the A button or the player one button one on your JAMA. So as you can see, it'll roll, it'll scroll through the games, you know, as you do that or the game categories. And you'll see the category change on the right. I mean, on the left, I'm sorry. But uh, the categories are questionable as to how they're laid out. Some of them are good, some of them make sense, but like stage I notice is mostly si side-scrolling side beat-em-ups. Um, you know, it's games like Battletoads and things like that. Uh, has TMNT. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play some games here in a minute. Um, flying games are going to be your shoot 'em ups uh, Wrestling games, which does have wrestling games, and it has fighters. You, know, you got Immortal Kombat. You got um, Killer Instinct, I believe, is in here. It's either in here or it's in... It has a bunch of different Street Fighters, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind, of, that's kind of what it looks like in here. And then I will um, go to the next category. You got Maze games, which can be a Tetris, stuff like that. Uh, vertical only has one game you have uh, adult we won't spend time there uh, we got sports games which you'd expect you know mostly all mame roms hardly any consoles uh, mostly all right mame miscellaneous is just sort of random so you have to kind of play with it and see where things are you know like they have games like chiller in here which is a gun game which is a pretty disturbing gun game actually um special which i believe this might be where killer instinct is let's see really quick i believe it's in here let's keep scrolling I don't know why they put it in special, but that's, I think that's where it is, let's see. Yeah, so there's Killer Instinct 1 and 2 in there. Uh, go through trackball games, mostly trackball, but there's some non-trackball games mixed in. And then back to uh, stage, which is side scrolling beat em ups and stuff. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some games and then I'm gonna actually give you guys some other additional feedback and things about the board, uh, you know, as I play. So let's check it out. Okay, the first game I'm gonna play is actually Streets of Rage. This is really cool because it's actually the Mega Play ROM. So a lot of people probably don't know this, that uh, there was an arcade release of Streets of Rage 2, and it was on the Sega Mega Play hardware. That hardware actually took cartridges that look like Mega Drive and Genesis cartridges. I personally don't know if they were altered in any way, uh, but... It did take cards that look exactly like that, so so some people don't realize there was an arcade release. Anyways, we're going to play that. I'm pretty pumped up about being able to play the arcade version of this. I've played it before, but it's kind of neat that it's on here. The other thing I'll tell you about the board is I'll press coin, and there's like a huge delay for some reason. Maybe you can't notice it, but yeah, see how it's like... <laughs> see what I mean? Weird. Anyways... It's still entering coins. 
All right. Let's just give this a shot, see how it plays, see how it sounds. I'm going to put the sound up a tiny bit more. Um, I mean, it looks all right. Uh, it looks decent. It, it doesn't seem slow to me or anything. I mean, I play Streets of Rage a lot. Um, the sound's obviously not that not awesome, but but hey, you can play it, which is which is kind of cool. It's way more playable than some of the uh, at games versions I've seen of this game, where it's just like, oh my gosh, what the heck did they do with the audio? It was so butchered. Um, but anyways, I love this game. Big fan of it, and. Uh, yeah, you can play it on this. So we'll, we'll go on to another game. Okay, the next game we're going to check out is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the original arcade game. Uh, this is actually the overseas version, which I think it was like Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles or something like that. But it's essentially the same game, uh, I think. I don't actually, I never played the game all the way through to know if there's actually something different about it, but I don't believe there is. Cowabunga! All right. Cowabunga! See what I mean with the credits again? Super goofy. This game plays, you know, plays pretty well. The, only, the thing you'll notice about this board, though, is there's no way to force it into the correct aspect ratio, so it's going to be 16-9 no matter what. At least I haven't figured out a way to do so. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting is the way I had to hook it up, it is altering the quality of the video a tiny bit because um, my Elgato didn't like the video output, so I couldn't capture it without putting it through another... Um, upscaler so unfortunately it kind of affected the quality a bit so it does look a hair better than this uh you know in reality if i'm looking at it on the tv that i have on the side of me it looks a bit better there but uh for all intents and purposes it doesn't look that much better so don't think it's like some crazy improvement but uh but it does look a tiny bit better than what you're seeing right here but again overall like it's okay emulation it kind of you know does the similar job to like a Pandora's box. It's just, you know, is it worth the level of effort and, you know, how you have to hook this thing up to play these games when I can just simply hook up a Pandora's box pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Uh, you will notice on certain games there is a bit of screen tearing. I think I could see it a little bit there. So for what it's worth, you know, you got to at least take that into consideration if this was going to be something you might possibly think about using. So I'm going to go to another game so you can check out a couple more, and then we will finish with Killer Instinct, and, uh, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, let's put our coin in, and let's get our Battletoads on. Um, you're probably wondering why I haven't done any fighting games, and there's a reason for that. So um, the way this harness is connected, I don't have buttons 5 and 6, so I only have punches and one kick. So I just figured it'd be, you know, I don't have to show that. Uh, but it plays fighting games halfway decent, too. Um, you know, it's got a good plethora of street fighters and things like that on it, which is cool. Um, this game is fun, but I'm still more of a Turtles fan than a Battletoads fan. Uh, I will say this looks way better than any of the console ports of this game. I uh, I forgot about this game on the arcade side, and it was funny, I was talking to my buddy the, last night as I was testing this board out, and I was like, man, Battletoads looks so much better in the arcade than it did in, like, the original console ports. They were so bad. Uh, so anyways, but graphically, it's kind of cool. You know, the sprites are, are some of the character sprites on the bad guys are, are large and kind of interesting to look at, so it's kind of cool. But anyways, it's that iconic music. I will say I was definitely intrigued by Killer Instinct, the music when it came out. Like, um, it was just the music, the graphics, like everything about it was super intriguing. I don't know what it was that intimidated me about the game. I think I was just a Street Fighter fan, and I would I would see it in the arcade and I'd watch people play it, but I really didn't have any interest in learning it. So I don't actually know how to play, and I didn't even look it up. So I can't fake the funk. It is what it is. I'm just going to show you the gameplay, and you can see uh, how you guys think it runs, and put your comments below, obviously, as you will anyway. Glacius has it. I think I can do okay with Glacius. I don't know why. I just think so. Yeah, that definitely looks brighter. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Don't mess with me, dude. I'm... Now, keep in mind, I don't have kick because I don't have that kick harness, so I can't do anything but punches. You know, I had to make do to make the video. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I'm button mashing with glaciers. Oh, no, 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 no. 
All right, I'm still, I'm still in this. I'm still in this. Uh, I was still in this. Maybe I'm not. Okay, hold on. I'm still in it. I'm still in it. Come on, guys. I know you're on my side. You know you want me to win here. Oh! Mm -hmm! Don't care. That's where I'm ending. Beat one guy. It's like I won the whole freaking game. But anyways, uh, I don't know. You guys gotta put your comments below around around this because I do not know whether or not this is playing even remotely the way it should. Okay, so just keep me keep that in mind. But I definitely see the the colors are definitely way better now that I tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> now I want to keep playing even though I suck at this game. <laughs> Come on, thunder! Got a little lightning. Got a little glacius. Oh shoot. What movie was that from where it's like, uh, I think it's with the rock in it, where he's like, he got a little thunder, he got a little lightning, and he's showing his fist. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Can he do it? Can he do it? With the button mash. Ooh, not looking good. What? Say it ain't so. All right, anyways. I'm literally button mashing, guys. Like, I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's that's Killer Instinct. Let's go to Final Thoughts. Alright guys, it is Final Thoughts time. This is actually Killer Instinct 2 running on this same board. Just wanted to show you that. I didn't do it in gameplay, but figured you might want to see it. Anyways, would I recommend this board? Mm, mm, hard no. Hard no. Uh, it's basically just a PC with a JAMA interface on it. And honestly, if you're really that hard up to play Killer Instinct or Killer Instinct 2, just build a PC and put big box on it and call it good. Um, and there's plenty of tutorials to help you do that. So that would be my suggestion. This was just fun to play with and I had it in the archives. So I figured why not pull it out and try it because I really didn't spend much time with it. When I originally bought it, I thought of it as, as oh wow, like at the time to have 2000 games in one system was insane. But now with Pies and Pandora's boxes and Game Elfs and all these other systems, and building your own big box or even buying an, an older arcade PCB to play a game you love, those are all better options than this. So I'm not going to recommend it, but it was still fun to play with and I appreciate you guys hanging out. So if you liked the video, please like it. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, turn on notifications and please put your comments below. I just want to know what you guys think of this. Like, are you that hard up for Killer Instinct that you'd actually buy something like this? Because the level of effort to set it up, would, at least for this demo, was kind of involved. And, and, you know, is it worth it? I don't really think so. So that's it for now, guys. I really do appreciate, again, you guys hanging out. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.